and welcome to another video from Sandra at Sandra Stamp and Craft Studio. Today I'm taking part in a Christmas in July video hop. A group of ladies are all showcasing Christmas projects for you, so it's a great time to take stock of what you need and what's already in your stash and let us inspire you with some new projects to make. So let's get down onto the craft table and I'll share with you my project for today. Here is my base card from Very Vanilla Cardstock and here I have a piece of very vanilla that I've already run through the subtle embossing folder. It's very very fine so you probably won't see that on camera. So I'm going to attach these two layers together. Let me share with you my tray that I've prepared ahead of time. I have a variety of circles here, including some from them in the middle of circles. So like you've got the O here, you've got the innie and the outie, if you wanted to use either of those. Some gorgeous copper foil, um, and even the two um, colon, the circles from the alphabet set. Any circles you have, and also don't forget a single hole office punch works wonders as well. So I've prepared some of those in advance, and I've also put foam pads on a few as well, just to save time. So I'll pop those aside here. The papers I'm using today are from the Brightly Gleaming Speciality Designer Series paper by Stamping Up. Now these were featured in last year's catalogue, but they are going to be returning on the 4th of August as one of our returning faves, but they've called them. So these are some scraps that I had left over. They are all double-sided, so you can use both sides. And the copper, of course, I've used some scraps just to cut some of the circles out. So there's all sorts of smaller pieces under here I've used um, to cut out the circles for today. So I'll bring over a couple of, a couple of my trusted tools. This is my take your pick tool from Stampin' Up. It has a putty end on here, which I will be using to um, adhere, pick up the gems. And there is a spatula, a, a picky tool, and also another other attachments that can be added on here as well. So that's a really helpful tool, to, and I'll be using that today. Plus my trusted tweezers. I will start off by placing one of my circles in the middle for the base of my tray. I will be using Tombow multi-purpose adhesive throughout. So this is the base of my tray. I will now be assembling various layers that I've pre-cut and I will fast forward this video so you can see how the assembly process works. Anything is possible, it started with a dream. Our passion made a difference and built a family. We've grown strong together, you know it's all because everybody plays a part in doing what we love. Just a card you see, it's part of you, a part of me. It's creativity. You can do most anything, so just do what you like. So here we have my finished card in the shape of a triangle, just made up from circles, all from scraps of beautiful papers. Some are flat and some are raised on, on foam pads. Here I have my Knight of Navy ink pad and my sentiment. So 
I will stamp that sentiment on here. And now I will die cut that shape. Thank you for taking part in our Christmas in July video hop. If you've enjoyed my tutorial today, please subscribe to my channel on the button below. And if you ring the bell too, you'll be notified of future videos as I release them. My contact details will then be shown at the end of this video and in the description below. At the top of my description box, you will find the link to the next person in the hop. For more information, I've also included Monica's blog where she will have a list of all the videos featured today. Thanks again for joining me and hope to see you again here soon. Anything is possible, it started with a dream. Our passion made a difference and built a family. We've grown strong together, you know it's all because everybody plays a part in doing what we love.